Hello YouTube, uh, I have shamelessly stolen a carpet tile. Well, not stolen, it was a surplus to requirement, so I thought I'd grab a carpet tile instead of working on a slip of wall rug the whole time. And I have uh, a light fitting to have a look in today. Um, it's, I'm putting these up later, so I haven't actually got much time uh, and it's daylight, so obviously I'm not going to be able to see how bright they are. Uh, bulkhead type light, power light, lighting solutions, regular LED, R E G O R L E D 1, code R1 L30 PC 4K, www.powerlight lighting.com, and there is nothing else on the box. Looking at that, obviously it'd be mounted on the wall like that. That's your bottom, that's your top. Uh, it should give spread of light around the whole outside and underneath. Now, this is an LED light, and I've not seen an LED light in this for a bulkhead. I don't even know what wattage it is. Could be a 30 watt L30, R1 L30. Uh, instructions, it's IP65. That's it. Um, power light, lighting solutions, product information. They do a whole host of lighting fixtures by the looks of it. None of these. I haven't used any of these before. Have I got that the right way up? I've got that the right way up. I haven't used any of these before. They do battens, bulkheads, and all sorts of lampposts. But this one is not on that list, so get rid of that. Um, this is a larger bulkhead. I fitted uh, sort of 28 watt 2D equivalents uh, when it comes to bulkhead uh, lighting, especially LED outside lights. Um, I haven't fitted in, I fitted a couple of 30s, a couple of 50s, not really gone much higher than that in the floodlight versions of LED lights, but this is the first for a bulkhead like this. If I saw one of these on the wall, I'd expect it to be a 70 watt SOM or maybe a 50 watt MBFU um, metal halide, but LED. I mean, I've seen uh, cob lamps uh, that would give you uh, an alternative. So you cut the cut the ballast out and uh, install a cob lamp instead of changing the fitting. But this one is an opal effect diffuser. So obviously, opal is much better for LED chips because. Uh, you don't get the glare and the dots out of the prismatic type diffusers. And uh, I'll be the first to admit, but that actually looks a little bit disappointing. Now I don't see how you're gonna get much light out the bottom of the, uh, of the fitting. I'm gonna bring you in closer. So that is what you get for your money. I have no idea what the price of these uh, items are as it is, but it's a metallic diffuser uh, met metallic gear tray, um, metallic aluminium like PCB substrate, and these are pushed in. So we've got two two in series by the looks of it. So we've got um, one comes in, comes out to the next, and goes out. So there's two of these units in series. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 36. So 72 chips. We're mains vault is 240, so there's probably not too much in the way of trickery going on inside here. How do you get the gear tray off? That's a good question, because obviously you need to get the cables inside, going through the back or around the outside. It actually, it's got quite good, um, oh, it's got a photo on it as well. It's got quite good um, recesses around the outside. So if your cable uh, actually comes out the wall down here, you can bring your cable around to wherever you need to do to get it inside. Uh, likewise, it looks like it's got holes marked so you can put it straight on a beezer box that's uh, flush in the wall. So diagonals uh, and knock out for your cables. But I can't, oh, and a hole in the top, brilliant. It's also nice and rigid. But there's no quick way of getting into the gear trays there. So uh, bear with me a minute. Right, so it appears you have to actually take the 
uh, three screws out, middle and two tops. It looks like the gear tray is, is sort of formed and then bent um, because it, it, this overlaps. So obviously it's just formed, cut and then pushed in to give you the, the angle. Uh, let's have a look in the back. Obviously it goes to a photo cell, making this a little bit fiddly to install. Uh, when we put uh, photo cells in lights, uh, I like to use the ones with uh, five leads. So it's got five in neutral uh, load load switch uh, uh, and two two leads for the photo cell itself. So the little B sensor is remote. You can just unplug it. Um, but this is this hasn't. So push fit connectors, uh, they're all right. They go brittle, tridonic ballast, which is a good make. Um, no, it's not a ballast, it's a driver. It's a 30 watt, 700 milliamp um, driver. What's the voltage? Ah, uh, volt, uh, U out, voltage out is 54 volts, 700 milliamps. Obviously, times that together and you get your roughly 30 watts. So it's 30 watt fitting. That, I suppose in a way, yeah, that's probably 30 watts, but it d doesn't a appear to me as if it's 30 watts. You know, uh, it could be deceiving. So uh, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and find a plug, uh, and I want to see this working uh, before I go any further. Uh, the I can't see how um, it appears that the. Uh, Mm, the metal substrate PCB has got these plastic clips which hold the um, chips in place and on the underside it splays out so it's just like pushing buttons that hold it together. Now I, obviously I'm not taking this apart, I've no idea if it's got a heat compound but there's enough thermal mass there to dissipate any heat from a 30 watt LED I would have thought and there's enough air space in the cover, oh can't see what I'm doing, to uh, keep it Cool. Right, so I'm going to go and get a plug and uh, test this fitting out. Right, I have a plug uh, attached to it. I've just brought it out of the bottom of the gear tray. I'm just going to plug this in, see what happens. It will come on for a little bit and then the photo cell should turn it off. Uh, camera is being swamped. Um, I'm going to take you out. That's as far as you go anyway. Uh, camera is, is starting to get swamped. Uh, there's, there's a nice good light around the outside and the bottom, which I'm quite surprised about. Um, it's not casting too much of a shadow, which is good. Um, what I'm going to do now is just wait for this photo cell to warm up, hopefully, and I'll be back. There we go. I had to trick the photo cell with my uh, torch on my phone because it's quite actually it's quite dark on this side of the fitting despite having lights up above. So uh, I'll put that there. Wait for it to come back on. Cover it with my hand. And there we go. Back on. Speed it up by shining torch into it. And off. Uh, I haven't got anywhere dark in this house to show you at this moment in time. It is a bit of a dull day as it is and I've got the lights up full. So what I'm going to do is uh, go and install these. I think I've got three of these to put in uh, at a school. Uh, there we go. It's a little bit dark in the room, so it's come back on, and uh, and see what they look like up on the wall. So this is one of the lights I've got to replace, and that's the first one replaced. Uh, and that's the second one to be replaced. It's getting dark and cold here. Well, that is the second one done, and it's uh, getting dark around here. All the street lights are on. Uh, it's about time we go and turn these outside lights on. 
Um, I can't do the third one because it hasn't actually got a photo cell sensor on it and there's no external photo cell or timer for these lights so they need a photo cell on each light which I can't really do because it'll be on 24 7 otherwise so I'm going to leave that one for now plus it's getting dark and I've had some trouble getting fixings so let's go and turn these uh, bad boys on bad boys <laughs> never mind I'll see you in a bit can't actually see where I'm going on the plus side I can warm my fingers in this swimming pool plant room it's positively Baltic out there Wow, now that is a difference. Two 30 watt LED bulkheads actually giving me enough light to work by and uh, see. I actually, I don't know what happened. I had to go back in there and reset it. Whether there's still another duff fitting on this circuit, there's still another three lights that aren't going that is causing it to trip. Um, but yeah, I had to go back in and reset it, or whether I reset the wrong breaker, I don't know. But power light, the power light 30 watt bulkhead, very nice. Um, I'm going to call it a day because I've got cold feet, uh, cold and wet feet actually. This moss is not the moss in this grass just soaks up the water, and my feet have uh, soaked it up. But yeah, they put out a nice light all the way around, a little bit, feel a little bit cheap. Uh, the outsides it's a generic case but they are brilliant and uh, I think I'm about to run out of uh, phone memory again because uh, uh, I've been doing an increasing amount of filming on my phone but these uh, light fittings are or were again design plan fittings with photo cell not bad uh, and this one I can't do because it hasn't got photo cell in it so yeah thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed this little video I quite like filming a little bit of my work. It's not often I can do it because I work in schools and that sort of areas. And um, and yeah, my little blue van. See you later.